Hello everyone, my name is Gifty and welcome to my channel, The Death Delight. On today's episode, we are having roast beef today. So here we are about to start our seasoning for our beef. I have some sea salt, some cumin powder, some dry rosemary, some dry thyme, some black pepper, some sugar, some chili powder, smoked paprika, crushed chilies, some ginger powder, and all pepper seasoning. We are going to mix everything together and we are going to rub it on our beef. And here I have this lovely piece of beef which has been washed and all prepped with some twine on it which is already done in the butchers mostly is already done in the supermarket so i'm using the top side of the beef which is the inner muscle of the cow ties you can use any part of the beef that you want you can use any part of the red meat that you want as well so we are going to spread our seasoning on the beef you make sure you spread some olive oil on your meat to make sure your seasoning stick onto the meat so we are going to do this all over our meat and also leave it to season for about two hours before we roast it. And you can also do this a day before to save you more time. And here whilst our beef is marinating, we are about to prep our tray for our roast beef. Now our tray added some olive oil, some carrot, some white onion, some sweet potato, some fresh rosemary, some garlic. You can choose to eat any vegetable of your choice. And we are going to put a rack on it and roast our beef on top of it. And make sure your oven is preheated on 400 Fahrenheit. And we are going to cook our beef for about 30 minutes on 400 Fahrenheit and then reduce it to 180 to cook for the rest of the meat and these temperatures are for well done meat if you want it to be rare or medium where you reduce the time of cooking but you can use the same temperature for the oven and look at that our beef has been marinating for about two hours now and this beef looks delicious. It's not even ready, as you can see. So we are going to seal it on a medium high heat. And I put some olive oil in the pan. Make sure your pan is hot so that you can seal the beef properly and give it that caramelization, which is going to make our beef more flavorful. And please make sure you do this procedure because it gives the beef extra flavor. So you have to do this please try this recipe for me and after doing this you are going to put it on the grill for about 400 for a night for about 30 minutes because we want our beef be well done so if you want it less you can cook it for about 20 minutes and later we are going to put it on 180 for the rest of the cooking and please please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like my videos if you want me to do any recipes, please don't forget to comment down below. Thank you. And now our beef is done and look how our vegetable it looks tender and juicy. And make sure you rest your beef for about 30 minutes before you cut it out. It makes your beef more juicy and tender because you don't want any dry beef for this festive seasoning. So here I'm about to carve the meat. So I'm cutting all the rope around it before we eat it because you don't want to be chewing any rope in our meat. And here I'm telling you, you need to try this recipe for me. If you are not interested in any chicken or turkey, please try this roast beef. So we are going to carve it for you to see and as you can see this beef looks juicy and this is how I wanted it. 
well done you know my african people if you want it more crazy or done you can cook it more but this is how i love my roast beef so please 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 try this recipe for me so you're going to garnish it with some peppers and some onion and serve it with some roast vegetables this is the roast vegetables and you can serve it with any sauce of your choice some gravy and to all my lovely subscribers please don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye bye